हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कंप्यूटरलॉजी एकेडमी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्रीडम फाइटर्स ऑफ झारखंड हु वेयर एक्टिव ड्यूरिंग द रिवोल्ट ऑफ 1857 इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फ्रीडम फाइटर्स और द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगलर्स ऑफ झारखंड हु वेयर एक्टिव बिफोर 1857 so we are going to discuss about the personalities who were active during the freedom struggle of india in three parts first part will be those who were active before 1857 which has already been discussed in this part we will discuss about those personalities who were active during the revolt of 1857 because it was one of the major event in the history of india in the freedom struggle of india it was a great uprising which had shook the head of even the british administration till their parliament right and thereafter we will discuss the freedom fighters who were active after 1857 till 1947 so this will be the whole structure in which we will go on to discuss about the personalities who were the freedom fighters or freedom strugglers of the state of jharkhand so let us start with the discussion and here the first personality is pande ganpat rai who was born on 17 january 1809 in bhairo village under the vandra block of lohar dagga district so at that very time there was no lohar dagga district but it was under the ranchi district itself nowadays it is under the lohar dagga district and the block is vandra block and the village is varo village so keep these three facts in mind there may be the questions related to this facts right and he was the diwan of the king thakur bishwanath sadev who was the king of chhota nagpur right so he was the maharaja of chhota nagpur thakur bishwanath sadev along with whom he was struggling he was fighting in the revolt of 1857 against the british administration and he participated in the revolt of 1857 along with the thakur vishwanath sahadev and sahadev was declared the raja during this uh, revolt and the pande ganpat rai was declared as the commander in chief of his army right so the diwan was declared the chief of army and the maharaja was declared as raja so the earlier the maharaja was just a title and all and whole of the administration was under the sujarniti or under the control of the british administration right but here they declared the independence in fact they declared the independence and thakur vishwanath sahadev declared himself as a independent king and that was the cause of discontent in the british administration and he was a leading figure during the burning of the barwa police station he was the instrumental person during the burning down of the barwa police station and they were planning to attack the british administrative office in lohar dagga and to get some arms and ammunition from the police station from there but there was some treachery and before the attack could have been done so actually before the attack they were taken captive they were arrested by the british officials because of treachery some of the people who were knowing about their activities and earlier who were the associate of these revolutionaries they shifted their allegiance to the british administration due to the allurement that was being given by the british administration basically what had happened there was one more figure uh, with the thakur vishwanath sadev who was earlier the associate of thakur vishwanath sadev his name was vishwanath dube and he was allured by the british administration that later on if he plays an instrumental role in the arrest of pande ganpat rai and thakur vishwanath sadev then the british administration will give the zamindari rights or he will made be made the king of the empire or the uh, that kingdom of 
ठाकुर विश्वनाथ सहदेव एंड आउट ऑफ दैट अल्यूरमेंट विश्वनाथ दुबे इन्फॉर्म द ब्रिटिश एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन अबाउट द वेयर अबाउट ऑफ पांडे गणपत राय एंड देयर प्लान टू अटैक द लोहर दगा पुलिस स्टेशन एंड द ब्रिटिश एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ऑफिशियल्स एंड दे वेयर टेकन कैप्टिव दे वेयर अरेस्टेड एंड ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट अप्रैल एटीन फिफ्टी एट He was hanged near the main gate of district school, Ranchi, and that tree where he was hanged is still over there, right? So this was the case. Next was Tikay Tumrao Singh. Tikay Tumrao Singh was again from a royal family. He was born in Katanga village of Ormanji block, and his brother's name was. Tikayat Ghasi Singh and both of the brother were active in the revolt along with their divan Sheikh Bhikari. So their divan was again an active person, and they belonged to Bandgao royal family. And he with his brother and prominent revolutionary Sheikh Bhikari, who was their divan, participated in the 1857 revolt, and. they were fighting furiously against the british administration and they had restricted the entry of the british army in the chuttu palu and charu valley chuttu palu and churu valley of ranchi and this was one of the major route through which the british army had to move to ramgarh thereafter to hajari bag to suppress the revolt but because of their activities because of their opposition the british army was unable to enter the chuttu palu and charu valley and they were unable to reach out to ramgarh and hajari bag for around 3 to 4 months right so later on again there was a treachery and they were arrested along with sheikh bikhari and they were hanged on a banyan tree on 8th january 1858 so this was the policy of british administration to hang whoever they were finding that they were detrimental to the british empire in india during the revolt of 1857 who were supporting the revolutionaries or who were the revolutionaries themselves or who were supporting the revolutionary british army personals who had revolted against their own army or the administration right now sheikh bikari he was born in 1819 ad in khudia village khudia village under the ormanji police station in ranchi district he was again the person who belong to ranchi and in the chutu palu region or manji block sheikh bikari was the diwan of king tikay tumrao singh and he collaborated with tikay tumrao singh in revolt of 1857 and the british administration arrested him on 6 january and he was hanged on 1858 that is 6 january 1858 he was hanged Uh, 88 January 1858 he was hanged. He was arrested on 6 January 1858 and he was the associate of Tikay Umrao Singh. And one more information is over here that the name of Hajari Bag Medical College and Hospital is after his name that is Sheikh Bikari Medical College and Hospital, Hajari Bag. Right. So that is the information now. राजा ठाकुर विश्वनाथ सहदेव एंड पांडे गणपत राय वॉज हिज दिवान ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन अगस्ट ट्वेल्थ एटीन हंड्रेड सेवेंटीन इन सतरंजी विलेज सतरंजी दैट इज कैपिटल ऑफ बरखगढ़ बरखगढ़ वॉज हिज एम्पायर एंड ही वॉज अ पर्सन ऑफ रॉयल फैमिली इज फादर्स नेम वॉज रघुनाथ सहदेव मदर्स नेम वॉज वैनेश्वरी देवी एंड ही वॉज सपोर्टेड he was supported and he also was also supporting the soldiers during the 1857 rebellion so the rebellious soldiers were taking shelter in his empire in his establishments and he was in support of these rebellious soldiers and he was also of the view that through this he can ascertain his freedom and he will reclaim his empire that was under the clutches that was under the suzerainty of the british empire right and during the revolt 
the due to the betrayal of his partner that is vishwanath dubey on 30th march 1850 he was captured by the english administration as we have discussed earlier and on 16th april 1858 he was hanged at the district school rachi so on the same tree on which the pandey ganpatray was hanged now come to nilambar pitambar these two brothers we are active in the palamu region they were helping or supporting the chero kingdoms chero kings right so they participated in the 1857 rebellion together with the chero kings and they were the great freedom fighters there is a university also in midni nagar after their name right and they were well versed in guerrilla warfare technique I have, we have already discussed about the guerrilla warfare technique right and the nilambar pitambar were arrested by dalton at that very time dalton was the official or the commissioner of the palamu region and after the arrest and killing of nilambar pitambar by dalton dalton had been rewarded by the british administration and later on he was met the commissioner of rachi also right so here they were hanged on 28th march 1859 on a mango tree in lesley ganj lesley ganj dalton ganj is also after the name of dalton lesley ganj is also the name that was given after the name of british official right and here in the freedom movement nilambar san kumar sahi shiv charan manji and ratna manji were also martyred they were also active in the rebellion and they were also captured by the arrested by the british administration and they were martyred right now come to the next personality that is Raja Arjun Singh, one of the most renowned figure in the Kolhan region, he was Raja Arjun Singh. During the 1857 revolt, he was the ruler of Pola Hat Empire. Pola Hat Empire, and he gave the shelter to the rebellious soldiers. And Captain R C Barras asked him to surrender and threatened to hang him if he refuses. but he was of the view that the rebellious soldiers were fighting for a cause and he was also not willing to be under the suzerainty of the british administration so he said that and the freedom strugglers or the patriots we are not fearful about their own head right so raja arjun singh straight away denied, denied jo karna hai kar lo i am not going to give away the soldiers rebellious soldiers whom i am providing the shelter and he was even not fearful of getting hanged so what happened arjun singh declared himself a king free king independent of the whole singhbhum region on september 17 1857 and this infuriated the british administration the british officials get angry because of this declaration of himself as a king of singhbhum region and the britishers announced a reward of 1000 rupees on his head and his arrest and declared to confiscate his kingdom now the king became fearful not because of reward on his head or arrest but due to the confiscation of his kingdom he was thinking about his subjects not of himself so he thought that after me after the confiscation of my kingdom my subjects will be suppressed and oppressed by the british administration and to avoid such kind of situation he sent a letter to the then commissioner of rachi dalton that i am willing to surrender but i have some of the conditions that no action will be taken against the rebel soldiers and my state will not my empire will not be confiscated and i will be treated well initially dalton agreed to that but britishers everybody knows about them that they were not keeping their promises so what happened 
After fearing the confiscation of his kingdom, Arjun Singh agreed to surrender in front of Dalton, the commissioner of Ranchi. But when Dalton had agreed his terms and conditions of surrender, he reached Ranchi. Then the rebel soldiers who were accompanying him were court-martialed and were hanged by on the order of the then commissioner of Ranchi, Dalton. And this was the breach of trust. This was the breach of agreement. And because of this, what happened? The king of Arjun Singh was of fearful of his own life also, as well as he had got infuriated by the action of the commissioner. So he again started the revolt. Arjun Singh again started the campaign against the British administration and he continued to fight against them, revolt against them between November 1857 and February 1859. But in 1859, after the revolt was almost uh, over throughout India, it had fizzled out. Then what happened? In 1859, he surrendered to the commissioner of Ranchi and he was sent to Varanasi. He was exiled to Varanasi so that he will not be in position to give the leadership of any future rebellion where he breathed this last, he died in Varanasi, right? So this was the information about the personalities and here three more personalities who were the British soldiers and they were Jamadar Madhav Singh, Jamadar Mangal Pandey and Nadir Ali Khan. So these were the three British soldiers who had marched along with their contingent, uh, along with their leader during the revolt of 1857 from Ranchi. So they had marched from Ranchi with Graham. They were led by Graham and they had to suppress the rebellion in Hajari Bagh. But when they reached Ramgarh, they themselves revolted. And they were trying to bring as much soldiers in their contingent along with them as they can in the form of revolt. But as the information reached to Graham, he tried to take against uh, action against them. So they fled their battalion. And what happened? On reaching Ramgarh, they fled to Hajari Bagh and thereafter they fled to Chatra, right? So here, Sad Subedar Nadir Ali Khan got injured at a battle in Chatra on 2nd October 1857 and because of this injury, Subedar Jamangal Pandey and Subedar Nadir Ali Khan were caught on 3rd October and on 4th October they were hanged. Right away they were hanged. However, Jamadar Mang Madhav Singh was a managed had managed to escape and he fled from Chatra and he continued to revolt against the British administration and after the revolt was over, his whereabouts was unknown. He just disappeared in the thin air, right? So this was the whole information about these three soldiers. So if you have watched the video till the end, then please consider subscribing the channel and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Thank you very much and also sub go on to follow us on our Facebook and Instagram handle. This is our Telegram channel from where you can get various study materials, informations and other things. Our app on the Google Play is also available where you will find the free test series and other things and go on to visit our website. From there also you will get various study materials and other things. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.